Be sure to set your row counter to zero. Now we're going to crank 12 rows. You're going to stop with the main mark at six o'clock. Next, we're going to add the split rings. Start by making sure you have them open and easily accessible. And start one needle to the right of the main mark. I'm going to lift the stitch up and off the needle then add the split ring, put the stitch back on the needle and then take the stitch to the right, neighbor stitch, lift it up and off and add it to the stitch with the split ring. So now you have a split ring and two stitches. Then you take the split ring and lift it up and off the back. Just like that. Now we do the next one. Pull the needle forward. Use your loom tool to lift the stitch up and off the needle. Add a split ring to the needle and then put the stitch back. Then get the stitch one needle to the right. Lift it up and off of that needle and add it to the needle with the split ring. Then pick up the split ring and lift it up and off the back. You're going to continue like that all the way around the cylinder. Turn the cylinder as necessary in order to reach more of the needles. As the first needles come around toward the yarn feeder, make sure that the stitches are loose enough that they're falling below the latches. Again, that's a good reminder of why it's important to have kind of loose tension when knitting the setup on it. After you finish a small section, you can go ahead and crank around and you'll see they just carry on. It's no problem. And then the spots that you skipped, the machine will automatically add new yarn to those needles and they will knit on the next round. Here I've finished another large section and I'm ready to crank again. Again, it's a good idea to go slowly. No reason to be in a rush here. This is my last one that I have placed. So I'm going to go ahead and stop uh, before my next one that needs to have a split ring gets to the yarn feeder. So now all of my split rings have been hung and I'm going to crank until the main mark, which is where we started, returns to six o'clock. I reset my row counter. And I'm going to crank 12 rows. I'm going just to continue to watch for this first row though, going slowly to make sure everything still looks okay. We haven't dropped any stitches. Everything seems to be fine. So now I'll continue cranking my next set of rows. When you finish your last row, stop with the main mark at six o'clock and remove the weight, soft weight, and remove the weighted clip. You're going to reach down in until you find all of the tail ends. And what we need to do is we need to hang the bars so we can hang the first cuff. This is what we're looking for. The ravel cord makes it really easy to see because in between the two rows of ravel cord, there's one row of project yarn and one row of waste yarn. So we want the project yarn stitches you can see this is the tail. So we're looking at the first one after the tail and that is going to hang on the first needle to the right of the main mark. And now you're going to pick up each one, each bar in turn and hang it on the next needle all the way around. You want to hold the fabric close to the needles. Don't keep your fabric out here and then pull each stitch over because it kind of causes the next stitch to disappear. It makes them really hard to find. 
I've hung the bars for the stitches that were accessible. Now I'm going to take these ends and put them back down into the cylinder. We need to crank forward a short ways, but remember we don't have the weight in, so you can just use your hand to hold down those stitches until the last ones are clear. Go ahead and reset your row counter now and then hang the rest of the bars. Now you'll replace your weight and we're going to crank the first row slowly and if the stitches seem like they're having trouble knitting go ahead and use your hand just to give them a little extra help right here in the area where the needles drop below the cams. It might actually feel tight for the first couple of rows and then it should loosen up again. So from here you're cranking 30 rows for the body. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.